Recently, a number of users have complained about a yellow border around the screen. If you have also run into the same annoying problem and are looking for ways to resolve it, this video is for you. That said, let's get started. To begin with, I would first recommend you get rid of the accent color borders that display a border around the running applications for a more personalized experience. This border could look quite striking if you have set up a yellow themed wallpaper. Simply press the Windows plus I shortcut to bring up the settings app on your PC and then head into the personalization tab and then choose the colors option. Now ensure that the accent color is set to manual. After that, you have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and make sure that the toggles next to show accent color on the title bars and windows borders and show accent color on start and taskbar are disabled. Then I would recommend you to reboot your computer because it has also been a pretty effective way to fix this annoying windows problem. After that, I would recommend you to ensure that the snipping tool is not allowed to add a border to each of the screenshots you capture on your Windows PC. To do so, you have to first search for the snipping tool app and then launch it. After that, you have to hit the triple dot icon at the top right and choose settings in the menu. Then make sure that the toggle next to add border to each screenshot is disabled. If the snipping tool still adds border to each screenshot to snap on your computer, try for quitting the snipping tool app. To do so, press the Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape keys to bring up the task manager. After that, select snipping tool in the left sidebar and then hit the end task at the top and confirm the action. Then I would suggest you to turn off color filters on your computer. As an accessibility feature, color filters have long been a great asset for folks who have color vision deficiency. If this noted accessibility feature is active on your Windows device, it might be invoking the problem. To do so, you have to launch the settings app on your computer and then select accessibility. After that, choose color filters and then turn it off. If you see the yellow border around your Windows device screen only when specific apps are open, the problem could be associated with those apps. So try updating those problematic apps. To do so, you have to launch the Microsoft Store app on your computer and then ensure that the library tab is selected in the left sidebar. After that, you have to find all the problematic apps and then update them all. Then I would recommend you to reinstall all the problematic apps. If the yellow border issue continues to show up when you are using specific apps on your PC, reinstall those apps. To do so, you have to open the settings app on your computer and then select apps. After that, select installed apps and then head over to a specific app and then click on the triple dot icon right next to it. Then select uninstall and confirm the action. Next up, I would recommend you to make sure that contrast themes are disabled on your computer. Making the best use of a small palette of colors, contrast themes ensure that the UI appears much easier to the eyes. This visual accessibility feature not only enhances readability but also reduces eye strain. For now, I would recommend turning off contrast themes as the yellow border around your PC screen might be due to the activation of this noted accessibility feature. To do so, you have to open the settings app on your computer and then choose accessibility. Now click on the drop down menu next to contrast themes and then choose none. After that click on the apply button to bring the change into effect right away. Then I would recommend you to tweak the display scaling as well because it has helped for many users in fixing this annoying problem. To do so open the settings app on your computer and then select system in the sidebar. After that choose display. Now go to the scale and layout section and hit the box for scale and then select the preferred display scaling option. Then I would suggest you to try adjusting the display resolution as well. To do so open the settings app on your computer and then choose system in the left sidebar. After that select display. Under scale and layout section hit the box for display resolution and then choose a preferred option. 
Next up, I would suggest you to disable the narrator on your computer for people who are blind or have low vision. Windows narrator has long been a great asset. Using this accessibility feature, they can perform a number of common tasks such as writing an email, working with documents, or browsing the internet even without using a mouse. So, I would suggest you to disable narrator because it might be causing the problem. To do so, open the settings app on your computer and then choose accessibility. Now select the narrator option and then turn it off. After that, I would suggest you to update the graphics driver on your computer. If your computer is running an outdated version of the graphics driver, I suspect the devil could very well be hidden in the outdated graphics driver. To do so, you have to use the Windows plus X shortcut to bring up the quick links menu on your computer and then select device manager. After that, click on the small arrow to the left of Display Adapters and select your graphics driver. Then ensure that the driver tab is selected at the top. Now click on the Update Driver option and then let it update with complete peace of mind. After that, I would suggest you to update your Windows computer. A software glitch related to Windows 11 might also be spoiling your party. Therefore, it would be apt to check for the updates and then update your computer. To do so, you have to open the Settings app on your computer and then select Windows Update in the sidebar. After that, you have to check for the updates and then download and install the latest version of Windows on your computer. If the problem has not yet been sorted out, I would suggest you to reinstall the graphics driver. If the problem is arising due to the malfunctioning of the graphics driver, the reinstallation may let you fix the problem. To do so, you have to use the Windows plus X keyboard shortcut to bring up the Quick Links menu on your computer and then select Device Manager. Now hit the tiny arrow located to the left of Display Adapters and then choose your graphics driver. Now make sure that the driver tab is selected at the top. Now choose the uninstall device option and then confirm the action. Your device screen may flicker off and on. Once the uninstallation is finished, restart your PC. And once your computer boots up, it will be able to automatically reinstall the latest Intel or AMD graphics driver which will hopefully fix the ongoing problem. Now, I would suggest you to scan for viruses or malware. Should the problem persist, it would be apt to scan your PC for viruses or malware and eliminate the malicious files sooner rather than later. On your Windows computer, launch the Settings app. Then select Privacy and Security in the left sidebar. After that, select Windows Security. Then select Virus and Threat Protection. Now click on the quick scan button to start scanning your device. And once the scan is completed successfully, take the necessary actions to get rid of all the problematic apps and third-party tools or software packages. Then I would suggest you to run SFC scan on your computer as a command line tool. SFC stands for System File Checker Scan. It's exceptionally helpful. What makes it so reliable is the ability to scan the entire system file directory, replace missing files, and even fix corrupt system files, which often works wonders in flushing out a persistent issue on Windows. To do so, you have to use the Windows plus S shortcut to access the Windows search. Then you have to type in CMD. Then select the Run as Administrator option and then hit the Yes option on the User Account Control prompt. And when the command prompt shows up, make sure to copy paste the exact command given in the description and hit enter. And finally, I would recommend you to run the DISM scans on your computer. DISM stands for Deployment, Image, Servicing and Management. There are also command line tools that you can use to check the disk image and also resolve many complex problems on your computer. To get it done, you have to bring up the Windows search and then enter CMD and then select Run as Administrator. And and after that, select the Yes option on the User Account Control Prompt. In the Command Prompt window, be sure to copy-paste the commands 
given in the description and hit enter after you have typed or copy pasted each command. And that's pretty much it. I hope you have gotten the better of this annoying Windows problem and the yellow border has gone and gone for good. Now that you have put the annoyance behind your back, make sure to say your feedback and the tips that have done the job for you so that folks like you will be benefited by your invaluable inputs. And I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a good time. Bye-bye.